love this song. We've reached the point in quarantine where I think I'm going to cut my hair. Uh, nothing crazy, but I realized my ends haven't been clipped since 1905. And so I think I'm gonna handle that because now every time I'm combing my hair, it's shedding and it's because I really do need to cut these ends. I grabbed the scissors and I was like, <laughs> Here goes nothing and then I go I should probably record this for prosperity. Do I know that you probably shouldn't cut soaking wet very curly hair? Um, yes I do know this. Is that what I'm still going to do? Also yes. I am finding the temptation to not just cut everything off very hard and I don't know what that's about. I don't want short hair so I don't know why my brain is like cut it all but I know that's not the Lord's voice so we will not listen. <sighs> Can anyone else hear Carla's voice calling me a bullhead skittle diddle? <laughs> picked up the vlog camera and then I started busting my butt all day with my uh, assistant and my intern so many projects going on that we just had to I don't know we were just in go mode and I forgot to vlog so I spent the day actually getting ready for this first of all there's so many jobs on the board we shot a bunch of stuff opened up packages did a crap ton of emails Worked on a blog post um, for the video that's going live tomorrow because today is Tuesday. The video tomorrow is a home decor haul, which hopefully you've seen. If you haven't, go check it out. I'm doing a decor haul on like a bunch of really dope like thrifted items um, and there's an accompanying blog post. So I'm about to actually do the last little edit on that video and upload her. Uh, then I'm heading to my friend Alex's house to make dinner. She wants kimchi fried rice and she's one of the... I don't know, minuscule number of humans that I actually see. We have to not be completely isolated because that would make our mental health decline greatly. So yeah, I'm headed to Alice's. Uh, I'm gonna make dinner over there because she has a big yard and I just feel like sitting over there and I low-key wanna make s'mores. So I might bring you along. I don't know if she'll be up for vlogging, but I'll bring, I'll bring you in case we're allowed. You know what I'm saying? And then, yeah, I mean, it was just a hella, hella, hella busy day. Um, I got three pieces of amazing news, uh, which annoyingly I can't share yet, but I will. And then, yeah, that was pretty much it. My hair is in twist. I actually am wearing my, this like blue leather scrunchie, which I will link, can you see her? I'll link some really sick scrunchies below because I've been on a scrunchie bender proof lots right here. These big organza ones, I cannot get enough of. They're so cute. And yeah, I ate a bunch of apricots that came in a gift bag. <laughs> and almonds that was my lunch apricots and almonds it was quite sad so we're here we're thriving uh i want to get this edit done so that i can head over to alex's and eat some dinner hello you're on my phone because i absolutely forgot my camera uh i made dinner we made kimchi fried rice hello six feet friend hi this is alex um, she has a YouTube channel too, if you guys want to check it out. We lit a fire and we made s'mores and, um, we're under the lights. Where are the lights? There are the lights. Um, it's been a good time. I've gotten... I can't believe you didn't show them your rice though, because that was like the crowning glory. You know, so I made this kimchi fried rice. I, I didn't... made her come over and make it for me. Yeah, and I was fine with that because I knew that it would end with a fire and s'mores. So that's really... I cook, you cook. Uh, exactly. Um, we've just been chilling, having a grand old time, talking about the state of the world, talking about our feelings, uh, talking about YouTube, talking about, we've had, we've listened to the Rolling Stones. We started off with some depressing music. Um, we some made French fried rice. Some of it you like, I her moving her body to some of it. You were having a moment with one. Yeah, I did, uh, there was this little low key gyration. Um, and then, now we're at a fire. I got 475 mosquito bites, which was fine. You know, the s'more was worth it. You put all the s'more stuff away, and I think I low-key want another right one. Right. Another one, another s'more. I mean, we had baby ones, though, because I had, like, half of a half, basically. Tiny. These are, like, 
But they're so good. Oh, wow. You guys, we have the stick and everything. Can you even deal? Oh my God, wait, is all the chocolate really gone? No, I just ate the last piece in that thing. I'm gonna go get more. Oh my goodness. Do you see what's happening here? Alex went to go get more chocolate. Wait, s'more on fire, s'more on fire. <sighs> wow. Save the day. Roasting my marshmallow, taking time, sitting, getting mosquito bites. Ta -na 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 -na. She got chocolate. Right. Got you all ready to go here. Got you set up. Wow. Look at that. Oh, ready for the perfect smudge. Romance. ASMR. Smart. Except you can't hear anything. Wow. Ooh. That fork removal, though? I know. I think you could have cooked it a little more. Wow. Whatever. You like yours burnt, so maybe don't judge my life. Hey, well, if you want it to spring up and not melt. It's beautiful, though. Oh, my God. Hello. I look like an old-timey farmer's wife with these two braids. Last night, I went to Alex's and had... Oh, I have no coffee in me and I'm just like you guys but this is just raw you know for all of us coffee drinkers imagine just trying to talk and use sentences without coffee I just put this hyaluronic acid on my face it's from Youth to the People this the Caudalie Vino Perfect so remember how I told you um, one of you guys recommended it to me I had a sample and you were like definitely use this forever and um, I started using it and I thought wow what a marked difference in my skin's texture. Look at my skin. Look at the clarity. Now here's the worker. What if I discontinue this product? What do I do? Do I just have like a sand texture all over my skin? Is that what I do? This is also amazing. I, this is the Kiehl's Hydro Plumping Retexturizing Serum. I like this because it really does plump and this I feel like is a better plumper moisturizer than a texturizer because that Vino Perfect literally transforms the texture of my skin and I have had textured skin since basically puberty and with that it's like wild absolutely wild and I, I get a lot of comments on my skin and I think that you know skin is hard to talk about because it's important to one know that there's no such thing as bad skin. Having acne is normal. Having texture is normal. It is. Um, some of it, though, is preventative. And some of it is our diet. Some of it is the environment. And, and all, most of it is genetic. And so I genetically have textured skin. And so when I say, like, it's transforming my skin, if I just always have a natural layer of, like, just a little bit of texture, and then this makes it go away, I, like, that's why my mind is blown. And then I've been using this. Do you guys know about Glow Recipe? Uh, you can see, like, I've used it down to here. They sent this to me in the mail, like, a little while ago. That moisturizer is the ish. And it's actually kind of a pricey brand. I was surprised. I bumped into it somewhere, I think, on the Sephora website. And I was like, what? And I have a bunch of it because they sent it. I've been using it because it was so lightweight as a moisturizer. I thought this might be good under my makeup. I cannot do a heavy cream in the morning. I can't. Like I do use my heavier creams at night. Even the good ones make me feel crazy in the morning. So I thought okay it's lightweight. It'll be good under my makeup. It's phenomenal under my makeup. And it still lets me use this which I just got. I don't want you guys to fall. If you saw the way that you were rigged up here you'd be like sis. You want your camera to fall? You're asking for your camera to break go off this came in the mail I don't know a week or so ago and it's the Bobbi Brown it's a primer it's called vitamin enriched face base and it's a primer and a moisturizer and this is a thicker cream but I think because it is low-key primer I like to layer this too just because it's especially dry in California I can't even imagine putting this much moisture on my face before makeup in New York City or the East Coast like cannot imagine it's just so much more wet there I love this like face base from Bobbi Brown it's so it's like enriched it's moisturizing it doesn't feel I don't know it feels much more like just a really good primer than even a moisturizer and um it does have a little bit of fragrance but I quite like it so that's what's kind of going under my makeup today if I put any on because I might just keep it funky. I, I might actually, let's not be crazy. We'll put on a little bit. 
a little bit of foundation we're not gonna do like a full beat maybe like a little bit of eyebrows you know like maybe that's what we're going to do how are you guys leave me a comment like I really need to know I need to know that y'all are that's just my alert telling me to drink water because if I'm not reminded literally every hour to drink my water I will go into a state of dehydration that is unmatched I hope you guys are good um the world is crazy life is crazy but I hope you're, you know, finding your peace. Look at that color match. Crazy color match, okay? So I hope you are not going too crazy. You know, the elections are coming up. I hope you're all registered to vote. It is more critical than it's literally ever been. Um, and if, you know, that sounds dramatic to you, you know, you might live a very privileged life in a bit of a bubble if it doesn't feel absolutely critical. I hope that you are all going to exercise your power and your right and do what we need to do. You know what I'm saying? This foundation is amazing. I said we're not doing a full beat and then here we are, we're still putting makeup on our face. Cause once you have foundation and you need a little concealer, I stopped doing like the crazy like big V. I think I saw a video of a woman um, just talking about how like, there's better ways to do that. I think I'm low on my concealer, y'all. I'm like using the travel joint. How it's like better to just kind of put it here, especially if your face isn't 25 years old. I don't really have dark circles, so I'm just kind of trying to brighten a little. And I feel like it makes me look awake. And now that we're putting on makeup, I'm much more likely to do the things I need to do today in terms of filming some of my other content for Instagram. Which doesn't hurt, you know what I'm saying? Getting what we need to get done. I use this, uh, it's the It Cosmetic by Pores. It's like a translucent powder. And I'm just dusting some in there because I don't want that little concealer to turn into pockets of crease. Pockets of crease. And that's the thing, like once you have on your freaking concealer, then you need a little blush, you know what I'm saying? So then it's like all you wanted was a little bit of awakeness on your face and suddenly you've beaten your face and you're like, how did we even get here? I don't know. I'm going a little heavy on the blush because I want to do that. <laughs> I want to do that. I'm going heavy on the blush because I want to, you know? Check your own self on your blush application. And then we need eyebrows, which I'll do those off camera. Anyway, um, I just wanted to circle back because I left off making s'mores and it was delightful. The moral of the story is feel free to clip your own ends. You know, it won't be too terrible. Make s'mores if you can. I hope you have a small pod of humans that you can interact with because uh, it's really transformed my mental health in terms of being completely alone. Um, doing it obviously very safely outside is also phenomenal uh, with lots of space. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. I hope you guys are good. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching me cut my hair and uh, yeah, doing a little skincare and a little makeup. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog. Thank you for watching. Love you, mean it. Bye.